Hello and welcome to my new FAQ video and I'm still in Spain but uh, at the time you will see this uh, I'm probably back home in Sweden but uh, since I'm going to Tolman to have the Solar Guitars Day and I'm gonna do a lot of work for Tolman uh, I figured I wouldn't have any time to make another FAQ so I figured I would shoot one more here in Spain because I mean the setting is nice so yeah Well, you love Spain, do you? Yeah, I do love Spain because one, it's hot, two, it's close, and three, the food is absolutely awesome. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I, why we decided to have solar guitars uh, in Spain and in Girona, actually. So right now we're in Plata de Aro, which is on the coast, and uh, it's uh, close to Girona. So if I need to go and uh you know check on some guitars i just go and uh it's easy we currently received the new batch batch number four and uh yeah i got a chance to check it out just before we ship it out to the end customer so yeah so did i answer the question yes i love spain and uh i also got a chance to rep solar guitars a little bit there in my answer so good for everyone Hmm. Hey Ola, coffee or tea? I'm definitely a coffee guy. And now I'm having a coffee at McDonald's. Because uh, here in Spain, they uh, enjoy espresso or espresso. And uh, while espresso and espresso is good, I like it, but it's not how I want to drink my coffee. I want a more, you know, Swedish experience, which is basically rat poison and where do you go if you want rat poison mcdonald's it's one of my you know only guilty pleasures i mean i don't really drink sodas or anything like that but coffee i do drink coffee and water basically. and sometimes i eat some ice cream as well hey Ola, are all the pictures and videos of the guitars in the factory on the solar guitars instagram taken by you or just someone in the staff now I just uh, pay some moron to go there and uh, take pictures for me. Oh, that's not too bad actually. Shit. Yeah, I don't really have time to go there and, you know, I have better things to do than to go to a factory and check guitars. So, no, I just pay some random dude, probably super ugly and super annoying. And uh, yeah, that's it. And they found tits. But of course. It's kind of short. Small tits too. Hey Ola, thanks for the great content that keeps flowing. What do you think about Nemec? And most importantly, what is your Swedish opinion on the last name on the first, second vocalist? Yeah, I love Nemec. And uh, I think they were kind of like before their time with their music. They were kind of like metalcore way before everyone else, ripping off, you know, Fear Factory and Meshuggah, but in a good way. And uh, I don't remember the name of the album, but it's. Uh, I'll link it somewhere, I'll find it. Something about something mechanical, probably. Yeah, and the singer has an unfortunate name if you live in Sweden. His name is Mikael Bögballe, which is uh, basically fag boss in Swedish. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's not gonna have an easy time in Sweden. But then again, that's just the uh, beauty with names. I mean, my name, Ola, is uh, a female name in Poland. That's just how it is. Mikkel Bergballe, it's a very... <laughs> I, I just cannot say it without laughing. But it's uh, Mikkel Bergballe, it's, it's a perfectly normal name, you know? So, there you go. Ola, what's the Swedish word for today? It's a thing now. And on us too, for the next FAQ. Yeah, sorry, I completely forgot about my Swedish word of the day last time. So, uh, I'll think of two this time, okay? First one is, uh, if you've heard about my name, Ola, it's kind of close to that. If you just add an extra L, it becomes Ola. Like you would say it in Spanish almost. And uh, what that means in Sweden, Ola, is that you put your tip of your penis against stuff. It's uh, almost like, a, you know, making your mark at things. So like if you're on a party, you can secretly put your penis against someone's glass, for instance, and you've ola that piece of glass. So, it gets kind of awkward for a guy who's, uh, or a girl who's drinking. 
that drink later and then you do not tell anyone you just know you've all out that thing it's an excellent word and an excellent practice that i highly recommend if, if you're a nice guy you don't do that to your friends but it's kind of fun but you can go around you know if you're at someone's toilet you can go hola their uh, their toothbrush which is not to be recommended but you can so that's the swedish word of the day hola would you rather listen to corn forever or limp biscuit yeah i would probably prefer listening to corn for the rest of my life i mean limp biscuits are limp biscuit it's okay but uh, I enjoy corn sound a lot more because they are so different from everyone else. And uh, I listen a lot to the first albums up until Follow the Leader. They're all awesome. They're all seven string. So, uh, I mean, there weren't really that many bands that played seven strings back in the day. It was Korn, it was Steve I, it was Meshuga, Dream Fitter. So uh, I started listening to Korn because they played seven string and I had a seven string. So, uh, yeah, Korn, man. I love corn. I also seen them live. Excellent live band. Sounds really huge. Limp Biscuit, man. Ah, uh, it's okay. You think it is possible? Not definitely. Possibly. Of making a very limited edition of Solar Extended Eight String guitars in the future. Yeah, I mean, there's always a possibility to, you know, for whatever features needs to be done. And uh, yeah, you know, maybe we'll see an X string in the future. You can you can always send requests. I I see them all, and uh, yeah, I'm always thinking about the next step for what to do with solar guitar. So yeah, definitely keep that coming. Hello, Ola. Just subscribed to your channel a few weeks ago, and you crack me up with your jokes and burps. My question is, what was the first album you ever bought with your own money? Thanks. And keep it heavy. First album I bought was uh, Nirvana's Nevermind. Yeah, I was probably like 11 or 12 years old. And uh, I bought it at uh, a small store. And uh, after that, I kind of like got uh, totally addicted to getting CDs and listening to music. So that's where my, uh, my uh, musical uh, endeavor started. And, uh, you know, a couple of years after that, I went Every Saturday I went to uh, the record stores just to basically buy new albums and that's where all my money went. And it's, uh, it's funny to see now how it's completely different. You know, you just have the music at the tip of your hands basically now with, with uh, Apple Music and Spotify. And it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. And all those money that you spent back in the day uh, those CDs are worth nothing, basically. But, uh, yeah. I mean, they were important for me at the time since it was, you know, it was shaping my... my musical career and, you know, my musical taste. So, for me, they were very important. And that time was very important for me. Nirvana. Never mind. Look at this beach, man. It's beautiful. I love the sand, too. It's more, you know, more like gravel than, you know, fine sand. So it does not get stuck everywhere. I like that. Hi Ola, how do you meet Delta Empire? By the way, if you guys need a bass player for the next cover song, I'm right here, lol! Yeah, I actually never met uh, Delta Empire. I just saw his videos and I thought they were super awesome. And, you know, he had a lot of Pantera covers and he has the groove for his drumming, so I just, yeah, I took a chance, I just contacted him. Seagulls are trying to ruin my day. One thing that scares the shit out of me is that all the birds are going crazy about this thing. Like the swallows and the I just contacted him on Facebook and his guy Lars responded and we decided to make a couple of covers together. So yeah, that's how that came around. It was pretty cool. And that's where I fucking am. Answering your questions like a fucking pro. Yeah, so, uh, but you know, what are you going to do? I have no idea what to do about this. And I don't want to fall down this fucking cliff because right here, it's super steep. But you know, for my followers, I do anything, you know? <coughs> Doing a burp, it's very uh, majestic. Hey, Ola, what specific model of solar guitar has been the most popular or best-selling? 
So the one Solar guitar that has been selling the best and uh, it was actually kind of, kind of a surprise has been the artist guitar and uh, which I would think would be the least selling guitar to be honest because that that's like it's not the official Ola England signature guitar but it's the guitar that I would spec up to my preferences I mean they have the uh, the Evertune bridge locking tuners you know locking strap buttons you know the black stealthy looks um, stuff like that you know how I would spec up a guitar and these are the guitars that I play live as well so they've have been the best-selling guitars as of late which is good to see because they're not necessarily the the least expensive ones obviously like the uh, like the a2.6 has been a huge success so a word from our sponsors Hey Ola, do you shave your legs or is your leg hair just super blonde? Asking for my girlfriend that's secretly in love with you. I didn't write that, but I'm saying it. There it is. Yeah, I do not shave my legs. They're just really, really blonde looking. You know, you can't really see. There's a bit of hair on there, but it's blonde and it's uh, still kind of smooth though. But yeah, I'm not really that hairy. Not even on my arms, I'm not that hair hairy either. But uh, I am... Obviously, I have this hair, I have this hair, also have this little uh, romantic patch I have on my chest here. So I have hair on the romantic places, if you would say that. What are your thoughts about Annihilator Jeff Waters? For me, he is one of the most underrated guitarists. While I'm not necessarily a very big fan of Annihilator because I haven't really listened to them, I am a very big fan of Jeff Waters and basically his, his work ethic and uh he's like he's probably one of the most hard-working guitar players out there and um i met him a couple of times i did a clinic together with him and he's the nicest guy ever not ever i don't know he's the nicest guy just he's, he's just the nicest guy and uh yeah we had a good time talking and uh, i also emailed him a couple of times afterwards i helped him out with some presets stuff like that so yeah he's uh, he's one of the good guys for sure jeff waters All right, so thank you so much for watching this FAQ video. And uh, if you liked it, subscribe to this channel. Next FAQ, I'll be in my boring home again. And uh, it'll be nice. It's been nice here in Spain. But the water is kind of cold. But yeah, okay. If you liked this video, subscribe to this channel. See you next week. Okay, bye.